So today I'm going to show you how to get basic prop modeling to add some randomness into our level. So the first things first, if you haven't followed the previous tutorial on how to get Java maps into dungeons, I suggest to do so because this will continue on unless you want to find out about custom props and things. Just the basic guide that you can implement into your level, then keep on watching because you may get something from it. So we're going to delve straight into Java now. I've already loaded up Java. I'm running 1.171. Um, single player and then our map is void map. Before we start playing that, I'm going to go edit and open world folder. The reason I like to open the world folder is so I've got it there, all ready to use to edit the object group JSON when we need to. Right, so um, cancel, void, play selected world. So what we're looking to essentially do on this map now is make some randomness between here using props. Now these aren't props like you get in game where they've actually interact with the user or their other models. These are from Minecraft that you can duplicate throughout your level if you need to instead of recreating it. So you could put house, make a nice detailed house and then you can reference it with a, a prop. So. First things first, we're going to need to set down um, a structure block. So the structure block, like everything, is what's used to be referenced with all the other things in Minecraft Dungeons. God, I'm trying to find the right text document here and I'm not having a good job. Right, anyway, so what we need to do is we need to give this a name of region and then this name here prop underscore block underscore region one i'm going to call that you can call that whatever you want it's entirely up to you um just remember it for later on right the relative position is naught naught norm i need to go to save to bring up here so i can put the bounding box around and then i'm going to go one 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 and one now i think that if i remember correctly this needs to be minus five and this needs to be four and this one here needs to be six no, so I'm trying to start it here and then go over to here so it's not interfering with the other blocks. You probably can do it, but I just don't tend to do it. So minus four looks good. We will try minus three. My, minus three looks good. Minus two. So it's minus three we want. And I'm just going to set this to three. Yeah, so minus three and four. So that's that box box there that's where we're going to spawn our prop into now bear in mind if your prop is bigger than this area it probably won't spawn or it may get cut off i think it won't spawn so always make your prop exactly the same size as this box or smaller if you make it smaller it will duplicate and i'll show you that right so next we need to go to the data tag here if you don't know how to get to this because you're running 1.171 um, hold down the alt button and click through the cycles here and it will come up with data so we need to put this into here tags type prop hyphen area that is it done so we we'll go back here so i can see the bounding box there we go so that's done we've set this as our prop area or a plot our God, prop block region one we then need to go off and build our our prop so we need to do it away from the map um obviously not where any other references are or where you're going to build anything um but i'm going to do mine here so i'm going to make it a four by uh, two by two um the reason i put a base down like this is i want to reference everything on top of the base i'm not care i don't care about the base i won't reference it it's just there so i can build it up build up on all of that right so now i'm going to put this stair sort of system in here i'm going to put this block here and then i'm going to put this block here um so you can go one way not the other way it's hopefully be okay and a bit randomized so that's what i'm going to put in and then we get the game to move this and spawn it within our block here and there should be quite a few of them that spawn in there random rotations and random amounts so it's all all relatively random so that is almost it for um, Java now we've implemented everything we just need to reference this new area in our object group JSON so from our file that we had earlier so we need to go here and open the object group JSON now I used to use I do use or I referenced it last time was the uh, the table uh, tile generator 
Um, you can use that if you want, but just bear in mind you have to enter everything again. So you may be quicker just by copying this, make sure you get the comma and then pasting it over. Call it the ID of whatever you want. I'm going to call it ID prop one, I think. And then we need to find the positioning. So where you get the positioning, if you remember, is F3 brings up your targeting system and you want this one here. So you press escape and then let me just move this to over like this and we can see here so minus seven one hundred fourteen minus seven one hundred and then fourteen please be careful of the minuses and the positive numbers they're a pain if you get them wrong it will just break and not work so the next one we've got is this one here i'm going to escape it so it pauses and then go back to here and this is minus six, 100. I'm actually going to leave it at 101, just so it's slightly a bit higher. Might actually put it to 102. And then it is 13. When I'm building such a small block, it's probably better to have a few more up high than, than anything, just in case. Right, so that's done. You can save that. We are also done with Java, but I will just minimize it for the moment. Right, we come back to our... All right, it's not even open. Right, so next we need to open our modding folder, which is modding and modkit master. We need to go tools and we need to copy over all the contents from Java world to our object group JSON within our Lovica uh, object group folder. So what we do is we will run this here. Double click it, it will pop up. If you are able to come back here to your void, this is the first thing you're going to need. Once it loads up, First one it needs is a Minecraft save of your folder. So the Minecraft save of your dungeon folder, whatever you want to call it. You need this one here. It's called void on our case. I'll click that. And now what we need to do is we need the other one. So I'm just going to highlight this here um, and then go back to dungeon market master tool, dungeon market master, dungeons, content, data, Lovica, object groups, test and object group .json save that press yes it should have then closed down and it's all been done so we can go back to dungeons here we can go content data we can load the level arch haven up have a look at that and then we can have a look at the object groups too and load that one up so here we can see that the object group is loaded up we can scroll down it and we can find that in main two it should have the prop the prop block region one you can name it a much better name than i can and that it's got a prop area and here's the positioning and size if you keep going down we've got the id of prop one this also has all the block data which isn't very much because there's not very many blocks in it i think it's three blocks possibly even two can't remember um anyway so then we've got our arch haven Dot Jason, this was the thing that we made in the level generator. Now it would be pain in the ass to put this back into level generator. Um, that's just literally just to start you off, just to get you on the right ballpark figure and everything working nicely. Um, <clears throat> so we really should do this by hand. So what we need to do is we're working on tile two because that's the tile that we were working on and we need to add some stuff here. So because we're entering stuff under the length row here row 49 we need to put a comma in and then press enter so on this row here we need to put some data in to tell it what prop group to use so first off i've put prop density 2 now you can probably play with this number but i'm going to leave it as 2 because i know that works um, and then i'm going to put prop group as prop 1 so what we're telling the game here is on tiles main 2 load prop group 1 prop group prop one so we need to tell the game what prop group prop one is by um fulfilling the prop groups data so if you haven't got it we need to go down to the bottom the last square brace on here we need to put a comma in press enter and you're going to need to enter this data here which is prop hyphen groups and then um square brace bracket whatever you want to call it all the way down to id prop one on regions star dot star dot prop block region one which is in here so our region is regions prop block region one um, add the props prop one or add the <coughs> id of prop one this thing here to it 
So it is as simple as that. There's nothing too strenuous about it. Make sure you've put all the commas in the right place. If you miss a comma or get it wrong, it will not work. And it will have an infinite loop or just won't load the prop. So just bear that in mind. So just to go over it again, we have got here within the stretches, we have got a tile called main two that is loading prop groups prop one and then within the prop groups prop one it is going to put prop one here within region one which region one is a region prop block region one i hope that makes sense it is a bit confusing so i've just saved this up now we can go back here we can go back to dungeons market master and we can click package so that's done now we just need to launch dungeons right so here we are in dungeons going over to the mission select table and i'm going to choose arch haven now this is the mission that we've been working on so hopefully what we like to see is a load of random blocks spawn throughout our level um that we don't really have much control over just what it looks like a little bit so as you can see the mission is loaded up and we have got all these randomly spawned blocks all throughout our level that are almost completely different in every single way um, and we've done this by this one what was it two by two block and it's produced this so you can see the power of it. it is quite good you you can do lots of different things i think it would be really good for like a foresty area area or or something like that or even just some floor with just a load of random bits it's um it's something to play with and um hopefully you'll you'll be able to do much better than this this is just an example so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you've gained something on it um, remember it is just a, a basic props video it isn't any 3d modeling or um, interactiveness into the game it is literally just structural so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll do some more videos soon